Today's straight talk is about water reform. Unlike other utilities, reform appears to have bypassed the water sector. Much of the developing world is saddled with water governance systems and institutions that are old and ineffective. A lot of people are now aware that many countries in the world are suffering from current or impending water shortages. And we know from modelling and forecasting that water demand is going to increase and outstrip supply in many countries. Even this week, Brazilians were asked to step up their efforts to conserve water, yet Brazil is blessed with very significant water resources, including the Amazon. Similarly, many domestic users are aware of the rising costs of water, although in reality we are generally just paying for the cost of service delivery as opposed to the development of the resource. Scarcity is really factored into the price of water, even in highly water-scarce countries. It has been suggested that just as in the case of oil, we are moving closer to the concept of peak water, after which demand will be well above supply. The worrying issue is that the kinds of investment being placed to deal with the post-petroleum world are nowhere or rarely to be seen in the water sector. People often think that improving supply means building bigger reservoirs and bigger pipes. But when water gets scarce, doing this means that someone else's water may be being taken. So the management of our water resources requires some quite complex governance arrangements that specify who owns the water, who needs it, and how it can be shared equitably and also potentially reused safely. Also, we need more consideration of how we value water and therefore how we price it. Water uses are relatively easy to define, being agriculture, domestic and industrial, and also the environment. The environment is often forgotten in this process or gets what's left after other users have taken their large shares. And as a consequence, we see major declines in river, qu river quality, biodiversity, and important fisheries. Who owns the water is a more complex issue and depends on a whole range of socially complex and historical developments ranging from the, the government owns it all to first come first serve type of arrangements. The critical problem in dealing with this situation is that our water governance systems and managing institutions are old and were often developed and designed to manage water over a hundred years ago when water supplies were plentiful. This is not the case today. So the main point of this talk is that water governance and institutions are in need of serious reform throughout the developing world and also in some developed countries. To deliver the reform process, we need to do three things. We need to increase awareness of the severity of issues amongst politicians and policy makers. We need reform of water laws, regulations and institutions. And we also need to improve the quality and amount of water data and information and knowledge so that we can manage better. Some key areas for attention include protection of the basic rights of water rights of all citizens, but particularly those of the poor. We need to start planning at national and basin levels, and also to manage, however, at local levels. We need consideration of separating water rights from land rights. These are often joined together and cause complications. We need to consider pricing water, service, water based on service delivery and scarcity cost, particularly to large beneficial users. We need to look at how, what mechanisms there may be to help us move water from low value uses to high value uses. And water trading exists uh, to do this. We also need to reorganise institutions so that we manage water around natural water catchment frameworks. We, also, we need to integrate water quantity and quality in the way we manage water and we need to look at both uh, water supply for agriculture and water supply for drinking and sanitation in the same context. Uh, we need to do this in the context of integrated water resources management planning. Also we need to consider the environment, not only in terms of uh, biodiversity, but in terms of the highly valuable ecosystem services that, that it provides. And one of these is the provision of clean, fresh drinking water. IMI is placing all of these issues high on its own agenda, but these issues also have to be championed by political leaders as well if we are going to deal with one of the world's most serious resource issues and problems.